Radhe Radhe everyone in this video i will discuss with you how i got rejected yes you heard it right rejected means not selected for the power bi developer role at deloitte which is the big four firm you all know in this video i will tell you what all questions were exactly asked in that interview round the interview went for more than 1 hour and lots of counter questions were asked to check the detailed level of knowledge so this video will be very much helpful for you all so stay tuned till the end because it can help you all and prepare well for your upcoming interviews in the end i will also discuss with you what was the reason of my rejection in this round all right let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video if you love the content on this channel subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on in instagram learn with gigs now i will take you to a ppt which i have created for the power bi interview questions asked at deloitte so i have divided this in, into multiple sections of power bi so the first section is power query questions what all things were asked from the power query part they asked me what are field parameters and can you give any practical use case of that not just the theoretical part of parameters how will you actually implement field pra parameters practically maybe you would have heard about parameters but this is different this is field parameters which is widely used in the practical scenarios so that's why this question was asked next question is what is query folding and what all data sources allows query folding to happen so the idea behind this question can be to understand the level of deep understanding you know about query folding how does it happen in what all transformations it happens and what all data sources allows query folding to happen because you know not all data sources allows query folding to happen moving on to the next question what does left nt merge return if you are joining two tables in power query so definitely if you are using merge functionality in power query in power bi you should know about what does left nt returns right which means all the non matching records in the left table and whatever questions i am discussing so this is what i remember from the interview which i have put it on paper maybe i would have forgotten few but this is what i remember and that's why i am sharing with you all so the next section is model view questions so from this section they asked me what do you mean by granularity while creating relationship the main thing is what is granularity it comes into picture when we have to decide primary key and foreign key between two tables so that's why you should know about how you decide and what is granularity next is how will you build a star schema if you have multiple fact tables so many of you have this concept in your mind that we always try to make a star schema whenever we build any report but if you have multiple fact tables what will you do in that case how will you practically build a star schema you know when we have multiple fact tables we should know about what is galaxy schema okay so if you don't know about galaxy schema read about galaxy schema how is it implemented what all things we keep in mind while creating a galaxy schema containing multiple fact and multiple dimension tables all right moving to the next question why do we not prefer many to many cardinality very very famous question many of you already know the answer moving on to the next section which is report view questions from this section the first question was asked how will you integrate or how can you integrate power automate in power bi you know we have power apps and power automate integrated visuals in the standard pane in your power bi desktop so basically they wanted to understand do you have idea about power automate what is the real time use case of power bi have you worked on power automate or not along with power bi you should have some decent or basic idea about power automate in power bi also because it can be easily asked the way it was asked in this interview round next is what is live connection mode and how do we create that in power bi so many of you know about import mode direct query but you don't know about live connection how do we do live connection the most practical use case of live connection is when you create a model publish it to the power bi service and then connect your multiple reports to that same model it will be your live connection and how can you do that by just clicking on get data and choosing power bi semantic model and choosing that model this will be your live connection next is what are what if parameters and when do we use them again a practical use case of what if parameters was asked in the interview round moving on to the next section which is dax questions first is what is the difference between max and max x function very simple straight forward you can answer it next is differentiate between has one value and selected value function a very very important two important dax functions which are widely used you should know about both of them next one is 
differentiate between all and remove filter dax function so many of you know about all all selected but you many of you don't know about remove filter function when do we use it and how it is differentiated from all function so please have some idea about these two functions as well from the differentiation point of view next one is write the dax code for calculating the last year sales from the selected date so i had to write the dax code in the notepad for implementing this logic for the power bi report requirement the next scenario which i have written in the notepad is this one let me share with you the scenario was you have a table which has two columns employee id and swipe as below after entering the office premises he has gone for breaks for tea and all and finally swipe out at 3 pm find the total amount of time he was in the workspace so you have two columns employee id and swipe so you have a single employee id which is 123 and you have swipe time which is 9 o'clock 11 o'clock 1 pm and 3 pm finally so basically find the total amount of time he was in the workspace that particular employee okay so how will you write the dax code for this to calculate the total amount of time let me know in the comment box what will be your solution for this scenario if asked in the interview and friends if you want to learn data analyst demanding skills which includes excel sql power bi python tableau as well as introduction to microsoft fabric then i would recommend you to go for code basics data analyst bootcamp 4.0 and you can become an ai enabled data analyst the bootcamp price is very affordable as it costs to piece 10800 and at the same time the quality of the course is very good that i can assure you of this is how your learning journey will look like so first you will start with excel then power bi afterwards SQL and along with that you will be learning Python, Tableau as well as Microsoft Fabric which is very demanding in the market and parallelly you will be talked about the importance of online credibility on LinkedIn as a fresher along with that they will help you in resume preparation then they will assist you in job application strategies and also they will provide an interview preparation guide at the end they will also provide two virtual internships which you can include on your resume too so after four plus months of consistent hard work you will be job ready in the market I will provide the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video please do check it out moving on to the next section which is power bi service questions so here the first question was what is fabric capacity and how does it help you know recently premium capacity is being replaced by fabric capacity so you should know about what is fabric capacity okay and how is it helping better than premium capacity which we had earlier next is what are data flows and can you can you give any practical use case of a data flow okay so you know data flows are online power queries the most practical example of a data flow is you can create a calendar table and you can utilize the same calendar data flow into multiple reports wherever you required. Next is what is row level security and how do you test it? So again, a very, very important repetitive question asked about row level security and how do you test it? That is also very, very important. How do you actually practically test it? Moving on to the next question. How will you implement the page level security if needed? This is a little tricky. If you have not heard about it or you have not read about it you won't be able to answer it properly in the interview so but you should know about it how will you implement rather than row level security page level security another counter question on this was asked what is object level security so a lot of types of securities are there read about it it can be asked in the interview next is what will you do if you have to refresh your data more than 48 times a day in import mode you know in a day you can only do 48 times a refresh maximum times right in this case what will you do if, if this question is asked in the interview in this case you have to talk about power automate with the help of power automate you can do and implement this refresh scenario i hope you understood all the important questions whatever i have discussed in this video as i mentioned in the starting the interview went for more than one hour i believe i answered more than 95 percent of the questions but still there was no response from their side so maybe i gave all the answers so that's why they didn't select me that can be one of the reasons which i am guessing right now or it can be any other reason i am not sure to be very honest i don't know why they rejected me let me know in the comment box if any of you have faced this kind of scenario in your past experience all right thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos